Good afternoon, beekeepers and bee enthusiasts. How you doing? We are here by the Welcome Hive. And if you notice, I've got a little distance between me and this hive right now because they have let us know that we definitely need to respect them when we are around their hive. Yesterday, we tried to shoot a video with me standing directly beside the hive and I got buzzed by about three or four bees uh, that were just letting me know like, hey, you need to kind of respect us a little bit. You know, if you don't know what buzzing is, it's like where they fly really hard around your your face and your ears and they're letting you know like hey we're not stinging you yet but it might come to that if you decide to stick around so in any case uh we've definitely backed off a little bit and also i'm kind of getting some distance because i've got a this is my favorite t-shirt in natural beekeeping and uh it's straight black and the thing about wearing straight black uh around honeybees is in some cases they can associate with that with a bear and they might come after you depending on how you know aggressive the hive is but in any case i've kind of got i've got a little distance of these bees and they're not really bothering me right now but let's move on talking about the important thing today today we are bringing to you the natural beekeeping swarm catching tip number two okay this is the second tip in our natural beekeeping swarm catching tips and we think you're going to like it so without further ado let's just get right to it Okay, so talking about the second tip to the natural beekeeping swarm catching tips. Basically, what you want to do is for your swarm hives, 10 to 15 feet is optimal. However, you can catch bees anywhere. So what do we mean by this? Well, if you read Thomas Seeley's book, The Lives of Bees, he did research and I think I read on one page, he was saying around 15 feet was optimal for honeybees, but I have read an article that was saying more, it was more like 21 feet. In any case, in his research, he found that bees like high locations and trees. However, it can be kind of hard to get a swarm hive up in a tree that high, uh, especially if they're kind of awkward. And so um, in our research, or at least what we've discovered is about 10 to 15 feet is optimal. As long as you can get that swarm hive up 10 feet off the ground in a tree, then it is a very good location for the bees. And, you know, I got to mention, and I've mentioned her before, but Bee Lady Vicky, she was able to catch a swarm in a land's hive that was right off the ground. I mean, it was on a small stand, but it was pretty much off the ground. Um, and she had a honeybee colony move right in. So it is possible to catch them close to the ground. You can definitely do it. But we know that bees, you know, in nature, when they're looking for a new home, they kind of prefer higher locations um, just because they understand there are predators, there could be bears, there could be skunks, there could be all kinds of things. And honeybees feel safer if they're up high in a tree. But uh, like I said, if you can't get it 10 to 15 feet off the ground, then try to catch them. Or if you, yeah, if you can't get them 10 to 15 feet, try to catch them right off the ground. And you can do it. You really can. We've got one hive right now that we're testing with that. Um, we're trying to catch the bees pretty much right off the ground. So we think it's really cool and we hope you enjoy that natural beekeeping swarm catching tip.